Donald Trump is spending his Easter threatening and attacking Justice Juan Mershon's daughter in post after post. Judge Mershon is presiding over the Manhattan District Attorney criminal case against Donald Trump scheduled for April 15th. In addition, Donald Trump is making posts comparing himself to Jesus like this one right here where he posts an article from a far right wing website called The Crucifixion of Donald Trump. And of course, This follows Donald Trump posting a video of a pickup truck that had an image of President Biden being hogtied on the pickup truck. This is who Donald Trump is. This is what MAGA is. It is a violent authoritarian movement running on the overthrow of our democracy. It's that simple. Let's take a look at Donald Trump's post right here attacking Justice Mershon's daughter. That includes a photograph of her. We've decided here to blur out the image of uh, Justice Mershon's daughter's face here, Um, but this is uh, uh, the photo of her. Donald Trump writes in a post on Easter, this is a disgrace to our legal system. Judge Mershon should be immediately sanctioned and recused. And this fake case only kept alive by the highly conflicted judge should be completely dismissed right away. There is no case. There is no crime. Andy McCarthy, Jonathan Turley, and all legal experts and scholars universally agree that this is a case that should have never been brought. Then he puts this all in caps. It is a political election interfering witch hunt, just like all of the other hoaxes, headed up and coordinated by the DOJ against the political opponent of crooked Joe Biden in order to help get the worst president in history of the United States reelected. Folks, this is how Donald Trump is spending his Easter, but this is how he spends every day like a complete and utter deranged lunatic. That's just who Donald Trump is. Take a look at this other post that Donald Trump made. These Biden trials, none of them should be allowed to take place during my campaign. They're all rigged and political. Then he puts this in caps, election interference. Then he posts this bizarre photograph of President Biden with um, an Easter bunny behind him. And then it's a just completely bogus article from the Daily Mail, like a lot of these media companies that just publish just complete bogus propaganda and lies that says the White House bans children from submitting religious Easter egg designs. All right, let's create multiple fake controversies that actually don't exist because in reality, President Biden's policy is no different than Donald Trump's policy, which was no different than Barack Obama's policy. It's just the policy that's always existed at the White House, but Leave it to MAGA Republicans to create a fake controversy out of everything, the same way MAGA Republicans are also trying to claim that President Biden has now changed Easter into Transgender Day of Visibility so MAGA Republicans can spend the day saying horrifically offensive and horrible things about the transgender community. Let's be very clear. March 31st has always been Transgender Day of Visibility. It was the same under Donald Trump. And uh, President Biden has always issued the proclamation on the same day that we should um, respect and we should not discriminate against marginalized communities like the transgender community. That would seem to be a message of love and caring for our fellow human beings as well. It just so happened that Easter fell on March 31st, but the MAGA Republicans will turn that into whatever conspiracy they want to. And here you have Jason Miller saying, Trump slams Biden's blasphemous move to declare Easter Sunday transgender day of visibility as outrage grows after White House also banned kids from submitting religious theme designs for egg art event daily mail. Just 
Just a bunch of stupidity right here. As our editor-in-chief, Ron Filipkowski, wrote, if your go-tos for defining blasphemy are Donald Trump and Jason Miller, well, you probably need an exorcism. And as I said, Transgender Visibility Day has always been March 31st. The policy about Easter egg designs, it's the same policy for Trump. It's the same policy that's always existed, but MAGA Republicans want to turn all of this into contrived controversies right there over and over again. I want to mention this as well, folks. Um, take a look over here. Uh, Midas Touch was the first news outlet to report uh, the pickup truck video that Donald Trump posted that has the hogtied President Biden with his eyes closed. I mean, just think about what we're talking about. This is Donald Trump, someone who talks about immigrants poisoning the blood of Americans. This is Donald Trump, who has the January 6th insurrectionists sing the national anthem and he calls them hostages and he's changed the words of the national anthem. This is somebody who uses terms like bloodbath and then tries to hide behind it and go, oh, I was just talking about this. I don't I really mean bloodbath. I just meant bloodbath about this. But I do make songs and musicals with the January 6th uh, insurrectionists. So bizarre and so despicable. I want to share with you this clip right here from an Arizona Republican explaining why he's going to vote for President Biden. His mother was an immigrant. Here, play this clip. Moore is a registered Republican, but a likely Biden voter because Trump offends him. He said that, you know, the immigrants are poisoning our blood. Mm. Um, what would you say? I'd say my, my mother was born in Mexico and she came across the border legally. So, you know, that's poison I can deal with, I guess. <laughs> And this right here is a great moment from Ali Velshi um, from his show, where he explains how Donald Trump's campaign tries to shirk responsibility from Trump posting these violent images and saying all of these things. Here, play this clip. I also want to just ask you to tell you another piece of information that you may or may not know about this video, which is still up on Trump's true social page. We, we asked for comment. We, we got a comment from Trump's spokesman, uh, Stephen Chung, who's always, you know, been good at getting back to us. And he said, this was just a, a, an image on the back of a pickup truck that was traveling down the highway. And that's always the version of the Trump excuse. I didn't do it. I didn't say anything. There was no threat. I'm just showing you the picture of a tied up current president of the United States with his eyes closed uh, in lying on his side on the back of a pick drop. That's the kind of way in which you can continue to stoke this stuff without actually taking responsibility for for what you're doing. And folks, if it feels like deja vu that, you know, isn't Donald Trump didn't he attack Justice Mershon's daughter before? Didn't he attack some other judge's daughter? Yeah, that's that's just his go-to move. He attacks the judge's family members. Remember Justice and Goron's wife and Justice and Goron's son? They were attacked by Donald Trump, and Trump would put the images up and say, look at Justice and Goron's son. And it wasn't Justice and Goron's son. It was like a reporter from the New York Post who was like sitting there. And he's like, Justice and Goron's son's here watching the trial every day. There he is. And it's like an arrow. It's like not Justice and Goron's son. And then you had uh, Laura Loomer conspiracy theorist. She's in Donald Trump's inner circle. And uh, she says, oh, look, Justice and Goron's wife created this Twitter or X account. And then Trump starts posting things and saying, look at Justice and Goron's wife, what she's posting about me. And it's like not Justice and Goron's wife's account. And they're doing the same thing with Justice Mershon's daughter. Um, and, you know, just posting image after image. As I mentioned, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has uh, called Donald Trump out in a recent filing to Justice Mershon, saying that Trump violated uh, the gag order uh, in the case. We'll see what Justice Mershon does. The gag order didn't specifically say Trump couldn't attack Justice Mershon's daughter, but like I, I, I've been practicing now for about 14 years. I've never seen anything. I couldn't even fathom this when I went to law school, that this type of behavior that's both outrageous and also just kind of freaking juvenile. I mean, you're attacking the judge's daughter. What are you doing? What are we, what are we even talking about here, folks? This shouldn't be a political issue. It's just deplorable behavior by 
uh, Donald Trump. Um, but we'll see what Justice Mershon does. Donald Trump's lawyer basically said, well, if you're going to include Justice Mershon's daughter, we're going to need more time. We're going to have to brief this issue now. That's what we're going to have to do. But we see no issue in Donald Trump attacking your daughter, your honor. I mean, that's what Trump's lawyer is putting in uh, legal filings. What do we come to? Such a despicable conduct. And, and this is Easter. So on Easter, you've got Trump and MAGA spreading lies over and over again, spreading hate, spreading messages of violence. We're so much better than this as a country. Again, I don't care what political, it shouldn't be a political thing. We're so much better than this, I feel. I think you feel that way as well. We hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subs together. Thanks for watching. Oh, I should mention too, um, the film we executive produced, Against All Enemies, it's number one on Apple. How amazing is that? We produced it with Ken Harba. It's so great. You should check it out um, on Apple. Just search Against All Enemies. It's also on YouTube, Against All Enemies. It's, it's doing really well. Thank you, everybody who watched it. I think it's a really important film. Check out the trailer too. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.